Hey, good morning, Steve Bow here. Uh, what I want to show you here is how I set up my Tyrannus X7 to work with my modified Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Uh, now, the equipment uh, that I put into the Phantom is shown below. Now, there are several other videos that I show how to connect this equipment into the Phantom, and there'll be links down below to that. Uh, but this one here is basically concerned with how to set up the X7. So, to get uh, on screen display uh, along with my OSD of choice, I have several different OSD modules. This one here is uh, as good as any, I guess. It works for me, so, gives me everything I need. So with the uh, X7, uh, I'm going to show you how to set the switches up so you have all the uh, functionality of the Tyrannus, or of the uh, Phantom. Um, and I have them set up to this outside switch, this outside switch, this roller, and my landing gear switch. These are the switches that I use for my Phantom. Uh, the main one first is the the GPS module and I have it uh, so it tells me what it's doing so I don't have to take my eyes off the quadcopter while flying. So let me flip it down and back up so you can hear Attitude it. Attitude mode. Okay. GPS mode. <laughs> yeah. Let me show you that again. Attitude mode. When it's up. GPS mode. <laughs> Middle position. Attitude mode. Down position. Fail safe on. Was it meant to do that? Okay. GPS mode. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the left switch is the IOC Course switch. Course lock. IOC off. Up. Course lock. IOC off. Is IOC off? Course lock. Middle. Course lock. Home lock mode. Bottom. Home lock. IOC off. My landing gear switch. Which is the return to home. Okay, and the last is the roller, and it shows or it uh, adjusts my gimbal on my camera up and all the way down. I it's on a table now, so you know that's straight down. But then, and that's up. Everything works great. Now, uh, I'm going to take it inside. It's a bit of a glare. Uh, out here so I can show you the screen a lot better and how I set everything up in my mixes uh, So I'll be back in a minute uh, with that video showing how I connected up uh, My Tyrannus Hey, this is segment two where I actually show you how I set up my Tyrannus X7 uh, to work with the modified uh, the Phantom Vision uh, 2 plus uh, Let's get right into it okay under the internal RF module you want it set for mode D16 and the channel range channel 1 through 16 and that's about it for that one now we need to look at our mixes Okay, channel one aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder. Uh, they're pretty standard. S1 here, channel five, that is the camera gimbal. And that is set up to my S1, which is this roller. And now we'll get on to the actual switches. Okay, switch six here is this left switch here. Top position. Course lock. Home lock mode. Course lock. IOC off. Okay, so let's take a look at anything particular with that. Okay, you can see IOC off is the mix name. The source is switch SA. Weight's 100. The offset is 483.
Next switch, the course lock switch SA, middle position, offset zero, weight 100%. Home lock, the bottom position, switch SA, weight 100, offset 485. Okay, now the right switch, you can see there's four setups here, uh, four channel seven. I'll get to all of them and explain why. Okay, the upper switch. Attitude mode. GPS mode. Is the upper position uh, switch SB upper weight 100 offset 168 attitude mode the second position the middle position is switch SD again weight is 100 offset 4 The bottom position is the fail safe SD switch weight 100 offset minus 18, 118. Excuse me. Now, also, what I've done is I've set up switch SF, which is the landing gear switch. And if I need to do a quick return to home and uh, I don't want to mess with my small switches on the front. I just grip the uh, landing gear switch. There's a big switch on the back. Fail safe on. Was it meant to do that? You just flip it, and uh, it tells you that you it the return to home is turned on. Do you really want to do it? And that is switch SF. Uh, weight is 100. Offset minus 118. Okay, that is it for the uh, switch setup. Now, the other thing that uh, I did, since I want to know what's happening, is I set up these special functions, and these tell me what the switch position is and what it's going to do. So, as you can see here, SD up, middle, down, a GPS, ATTI, a ADDIE mode, and failsafe. The left switch up, SA, IOC off. SF is my landing gear switch, is a failsafe. Uh, SA middle position, course lock. SA switch lower position, home lock. And that's it for my special functions. Uh, and that should do it. Now, when we were looking at the switches and the offsets, you know, some was 118, some was 30 or whatever. Okay, now you set those up uh, with your software connected to your Phantom, uh, and you'll need that to set up your IOC. Uh, now, that is something that is in a... Uh, RC groups thread that talks about that and I'll put a link down below and how to do that It's kind of involved to get on uh, into it in the video because every Every phantom is probably going to be different when you try to set it up like this um, So that should about do it. That's basically what I did now like I say uh, if you like this uh, Please subscribe and like if you want to see some more videos or uh, on the phantom or just some of my other interesting videos and reviews and where we talk about the, the RC hobby. Yeah, please subscribe. Now there'll be links below uh, to the equipment that I used here and to the other uh, uh, videos that where I talk about the Phantom and, uh, and I show the inside Phantom, how you connect up your uh, receiver, uh, your power, uh, and to have access to your camera in your Phantom because you don't want to put another camera on it. You want to use it. Great camera. Um, so that should do it here. Uh, uh, please subscribe and uh, and like. Uh, this is Stebbo. Oh.